Hey everyone, as promised, I'm going to do a post on credit collection companies. Um, a lot of people are hitting me up uh, wanting advice on how to improve their credit. This is one of the best places to start. Um, I definitely want to give you uh, some information. This probably is going to require two videos. Um, one of the major components that you have to figure out with collection companies collection companies are borderline illegal so in order to understand how they work you have to understand the law of contracts the law of contracts usually you only have two ways to establish a contract that's verbal or written credit collection companies work in conjunction with credit card companies these two are allies they also work with uh, utility companies what happened with credit card companies you your initial process is the application process they might send you an offering for a certain amount of interest zero interest it's almost just like a car loan they might offer you zero interest but once they look at your financials uh, your income also past credit history you might not qualify for that if you do get approved they'll send you the terms in the mail now the terms will be your interest rate and also the limit for the card. People who have experience getting a credit card before, you have to activate it over the phone, maybe with a representative or through just an automated system. Now, here's the dilemma. Because with the credit card companies, say if I got a credit card and it was a $2,000 limit and I end up not paying that, what they do is charge off the debt. This is why you will have on your credit report charge off. Charge off just means that when they file their income taxes because they didn't get paid for it, they consider it a loss. The IRS give them a credit for that, so they don't lose any money. They get a tax credit for that two thousand dollars. So what these people do, they never lose. They work with collection companies, and they'll tell that guy, "Hey, you know, this female, she got." A $2,000 debt with us, but we'll give it to you and you pay us $200 and you can go after her for the $2,000. And what people don't know, majority of the time, these collection companies will call you up and pretend that they're either working for the company or they'll tell you they're collecting for the company, which is not true. So when they call you, what they begin to do is record your conversation so they can establish a verbal agreement with you. When you start to say, hey, you know, I could pay $25 or $50, unbeknown to you, they have no right to collect on this. Because nowhere did you ever sign a contract, even with the collections company or credit card, I'm sorry, credit card company that gave them a right to assign that debt to someone else. When you sit down for your mortgage, when you sit down for a car loan, you just about sign your life away. That's giving them a right of assignment to transfer the debt so other people can buy the debt or other companies can buy the debt. Yeah, that's normal. But with these collection companies, when you're applying for credit card nowadays, nobody send that contract back. You do it over the phone. So you never agree for them to sell your debt off. This contract goes both ways between you and a credit card company. So what collection companies are ultimately doing is extortion, mafia tactics. But the problem where you make it legal, when you start agreeing to pay them, now you made a verbal contract. And there's a lot of people paying these companies and they had no right to do that to you whatsoever. You gave them a right by talking to them. So when they call you, you let them know. Send me proof in the mail that I owe you a debt. Because there's a debt, don't mean you pay it to them. I got a debt on my car. You know, I'm paying a car note. Don't mean you got a right to collect it. You got to show me where your right is or where I agree that you have a right to collect my debt in writing. And that's the dilemma. So refuse to talk to these people. 
tell them that the Fair Credit Act give you a right to have this in writing and you were no longer talking to them that this is extortion and you want proof that they have a right to collect on a debt. Because a debt is old, don't mean they have a right to collect. And I'll do video two to show you how you can turn that bad credit that they turned against you to good credit. All right. Enjoy your day. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.